the abrupt shake that confronted us all. Slowly waking from the long stupor, at first unsure of the truth that lay for me to see. The bare naked truth of what it was, the numbness, the hollowness of self, the carcasses of our existence laid in the open for us to see. In that confrontation, there is hiding no more. We run in every direction like ants after a storm, lost and yearning. But I heard the voice, the voice of my ancestors, the voice of the mothers before me and their foremothers. I hear their voices. I hear the voice. It reminds me of the light inside, the seated through that showed me the path back to her. Walking on soft moss in the forest, listening to the trickling creek from afar. My senses sharpen, feeling awake, feeling sharply. So acute that I feel in my body the pulsing sap running through pines, golden honey for my taste and smell. The reminder that she lives here in the tree, the moss, the leaf, the decaying buck that feeds the soil that feeds us all. Those walks in the forest become cyclical from a dark, starry night to moonlight and back to dark, pulsing nights. For the first time, I remember to seek the elements, the wind that caresses it all, the earth that sticks to my souls, the fires at night and the water that swells me and my emotions. Slowly, my body remembers. It feels the water washing over my soul. The caress of air bubbles in my submerged body. The water burial of the old self and the rebirth of new. Perhaps is the birth of the original and the death of the numb for I feel in ways that I never felt before. I hear the voice so loudly. I feel the metamorphosis of self, me becoming her and she becoming me, there. Feeling the fire and warm in my hands, lighting the receptors in my cells, awaking, becoming her, becoming me, a last. <laughs>